hold up. I'm eating honeycombs, but this game is starting and this game is lit, man. Holy shit. I'm going to pause for 30 seconds to finish eating and I'm going to get into it. I'm here. So we got Eternally versus Lax. It's 6 5 in favor of the Wolfpack. Wolfpack being Eternally's team. Ruiners have 5. So Lax needs to win this game. They're a tie. And if Eternally wins, then his team gets to win. However, vice versa. No, no, not vice versa, but rather, um, if Turnley loses and Lax wins, then it's a tie between the Runers and the Wolfpack. Two teams that are already in a good position, but yeah. Um, interesting team for Turnley because it doesn't look like it's Stealth Rock Pinsir, because there's a Steelix in the back, but it is Pinsir. Um, usually you see this using the Z-Move, Mold Breaker, Stealth Rock, but yeah, maybe it's like a Choice Banded variant or just like a Sewage Dance Three Attack variant, which is cool because Mold Breaker, Earthquake, actually looks really nice against the team. Plus two X's, it does a lot of damage. Um, in fact, maybe it's Knockoff or Rock Slide as in the back for Golbat and whatnot. Um, hmm. Also nice for Braviary then. Yeah, you know what? That could be cool. Um, oh shit, he's got the next after me. Anyway, um, turn one, we're going to see a knockoff. It's probably not Choice Band given that damage, but anyway, the Hellmize looks like it um, purples the bat here. Um, if the bat is U-turn, I would most definitely click it here, but if not, um, we can see a double switch out to Steelix. Oh! That's a cool set. Um, so it's Z, Anchor Shot, or Heavy Slam. Not too sure yet, but um, anyway, that is going to be able to hit the Steelix that resists it. Steelix was coming in predicting a double switch to likely the opposing Steelix, or potentially something like the Blastoise or Delphox. Um, trading Rocks is favorable in this matchup for um, Eternally, because you can wear out the, the Blastoise pretty easily, especially if it's not Z. But, um, hmm. I'm looking at Lax's team, and I noticed that Got a pretty nice defensive backbone. Something like Basimia is not going to be annoying to it, but with some Scald Burns and maybe a Grass Nut or two or Fire Blast, AP Slow King looks nice. Hmm. Good play there. He's just going to set up Rock, so I'm going to power up and bounce off. So it's not Bandit Noise, it's Zebra Grass. So that's nice for Eternally. He's probably going to force to spin here, so you'll have to wonder if he's going to take advantage of that with Slow King or Sceptile. And he's going to go to the former and Slow King. So I think he might be um, inclined to fire off Scalds. You wouldn't mind really getting a Toxic or a Scald Burn of his own. Um, I just wonder what the set is. In fact, it could very well be a Fire Blast um, variant. could be Grass Knot, Future Sight, Dragon Tail, even Ice Beam, Signal Beam are all viable options on a Solve Slow King. Scald, Fire Blast are pretty much two only staples, I'd say. Uh, yeah, Future Sight, okay. So, yeah, Future Sight makes sense um, when you have a Scarfer and Steelix, because then Heliosk isn't as bad. Um, he's going to go to Sceptile here. All right, I imagine... Um, I'm pretty sure Delphox is the play for Lax here, because A, that takes the least amount of damage from Future Sight, and B, that probably, not only does it counter Deceptile that's in front of him, but also counters the um, Bobat. The Simeon, going to take advantage of the Delphox, mid-ground kind of play. That's going to do 26, that's probably leftovers, yeah. Okay, so now, knockoff threatening. So that's a nice positioning move by Trenley. He might stay in and take the knockoff if he's bulkier and he's EV'd to live it from here, or he might, and then wish, but and the alternative, he might just go to um, the Weezing, and he's going to um, scout with Protect, and Eternally's going to take advantage of that and go to Slow King, which is in a fine position overall. Um, is he going to call this? No, he's just going to Future Sight. Maybe he doesn't have Fire Blast? I'm not too sure. Um, I feel like I would have clicked it there myself, but I guess he's scared of the Blastoise Midground. He's going to go to his own Steelix once more. Um, he's going to get Leftover, so now it's near fall as well, and they're going to trade... No, they're not going to trade Rocks, rather. Um... Is going to go for Earthquake and then Future Sight. That's going to leave this at about half, which is actually nice for the Pinzer, and it means that it's in Sceptile range. Um, Simeon's close combat kills it as well. So this Steelix is definitely taking a number, which also frees up Golbat a bit. I imagine he rocks. Yep. So now rocks are up, and he got a bit of the advantage there. Um, if I had to guess, he probably goes Sceptile a bit more aggressively here. Um, the issue is that after a spin, the Delphox walls it. So I think this matchup dynamic is really favorable for the lack side, especially since the spinner is at full at this point. Um, I think that this slow king needs to start chipping away at things. Maybe a nice prediction here. He's going to go for the Fire Blast. That's going to do half to the Psimian, approximately. Doing 48, no, 49%. But basically half. Um, Steelix is going to come in here on a... If that's a knock, that's big. But no, it's just a U-turn. It's going to do a mere 6%. It's going to get negated. But the Weezen can come in here, which pretty much threatens the majority of the team. Although I think he could use this as an opportunity to get Golbat in, if he so pleases. It's just the main issue is that a double switch could potentially neutralize that. So slow king is a bit safer of a play. Isn't you just that toxic flash that can be laid out? So now I think the Golbat would look a bit better. I don't think he would even mind eating a burn on the Golbat. Shing is already knocked, and the Steelix is still at half health, so it's not like he's doing that much, especially since the Steelix isn't even knocked. No rocks or spikes. Ah, uh, we're going to see a Fire Blast here. Now it's Fire Blast here. That's going to do 91% to the Hellmize. 
And now, hmm, now I reckon he um he goes to the goal bat as it should live any hit from. Oh, actually, you know what? And a steel move might be able to take it out. Um, this is actually a harder turn than one might think. Um, anyway, I think this is probably EV to live AV Fire Blast no matter what. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know here. This is a hard turn. Um, I think I go Steelix. Yeah, and he's going to go Steelix on... Yep, so he got that turn right. He went Steelix on the anchor shot. Um, if he went to the goal bat, since it was knocked and chipped with rocks up, then it would have died. Um, so he gets that turn right, and he's just going to trade the knock for Earthquake, and that's going to take it out. So yep, good turn there for Eternally. However, the Lax... The Lax. Lax getting the knock off on this is quite, a, it's quite nice for him. Um, anyway, hmm. Oh, my team's chat's popping right now. Holy shit. Oh, they're looking at the nicknames. They're looking at the nicknames named after me. That's why I got tagged. Okay, anyway, um, I don't think they're flamethrower kills. Actually, it's mystical fire. Yeah, mystical fire doesn't kill. Um, I would not put it past eternally just to click earthquake here, quite frankly. Um, it probably is a roll it, at worst to kill. Um, I don't agree at all with this Del Fox play. Unless he is invested in like special attack somewhat with Flamethrower, uh, I think Eternally is going to scout that out. Oh, it's Calm Mind Protect. It's not Wish. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's cool. That is really cool with Toxic Spikes. All right. So I'm a big fan of Lax's team all of a sudden. That, that's nice. I, I think this is something cool. On mine, protect leftovers with toxic spikes. Yeah, that's a nice concept there. Um, the thing is that Skull, that plus two, is still going to do like 40. Probably more, even. Unless it's a bulky Commander, which, I mean, you really never, ever see. But I guess bulk of protect would be nice because you live like Sneasel's Pursuit after Stealth Rock, for example. Oh, it's Dragon Tail. Right, right, right. I would have future sighted there and the protect. Oh, man. Oh, but it's sub so mine protect. Holy shit. This is so cool! Wow! Oh my lord! And Lax is going to be in a huge advantageous position now. Golbat's going to come in here, but... Um, does Future Sight even break it? I think this is over. I think that Eternally is going to fall to Lax. I mean, he's going to fall to 2-4. Wow! And this is quite the set. Qu quite the synergetic set. Yeah, he's not going to get... So Toxic Spikes up to stay. Yeah, this is really... Okay, he's going to get it to fade at least. So he could go to maybe the Passimian and try and knock it off. Oh, Lax is saying gay-ass inspirational shit in the chat. So that's minus one point for Lax. But anyway, this is just a really hard matchup for Eternally. I don't think you blame him. I think he played it fine. But yeah, no. I think that Delphox is going to be the difference. Knock off into the helmet there is just not going to be enough to get Eternally back in on this. He's going to be able to get the regenerator there, but every single time, not only is he taking rocks down, now two Toxic Spikes are up, so pretty much everything left on his team is crippled. Yeah, even the Steelix is knocked. This game is over. Future Sight there, sure, but I think it's an effort and futility at this point. He's probably going to go to the Sceptile, knowing that he can't get burnt. He's going to take the poison, but like then what? How do you beat the Delphox with this? He's going to fight off the Steelix, it's fine. Giga Drain's a smart play there, as he's going to at least get some recovery, and Future Sight's enough to take it out, so you don't even waste a Leaf Storm. That's fine. Sure, but now that Delphox comes back in, or the Passimian comes in, and shit just starts to drop. While it is a 5-4 game in favor of Eternally, the game is not favoring Eternally whatsoever, in all seriousness.
Yeah, he's just going to take this out by, with you turn. Sorry, I just because response on the Discord for a second on my phone. But um, anyway, yeah, that's just going to go down and the game's over. And yeah, it's just going to sub up and it could just sub protect stall. This is going to die eventually. The pincer dies. Is this sub on the Pissimian? I mean, yeah, it's, it's over. Yeah, it, it can regen all at once, but there's not enough. Everything else dies. And now you just sub here again. It's not going to stall him out of PP. It's, it's over. I, I'm sorry, but yeah, nothing eternally can do. It's going to U-turn. is going to break this up. This dies to rock six times. Go to slow. You can get through a generator. You fire this off, but it keeps fucking clicking substitute on protect. Eventually, the game ends. He clicks calm mind there to add insult injury. Okay. Sure. But, like, it's still poisoned, and there's no way of recovering. Uh, wow. Yeah, it just can scald all you want, but... Yep, it, game's over. It's just a hard matchup for Eternally, unfortunately. Um, I mean, he's gonna get the Protect right, sure. But, I mean, yeah, like, this just kills the other two. So it just, like, it just keeps on going. And eventually this is gonna be a 4-0 in favor of Lax, I believe. Just proving that Leftovers plus Protect are broken. Then, yeah, I mean, Flame kills this. So might as well just drop the good game. Yeah, and it's down to 22. 18% poison next turn, so he's either going to switch out or die to flamethrower after toxic. But he's not even going to risk the crit, he's just going to protect. Yep, smart play from Lax. He's going to take it out. And that's going to be a 4 0 victory for Lax. Runners are going to clinch the tie. Unfortunately for Eternally in the look back, they're going to fall to 6 6 this week. But that's not enough for a tie, which can leave them in playoff contention, I believe. Not contention, but rather like top four, you know, I mean, anyway, good games.